guys. Good morning, everybody. And a Fox News alert as we brace for a deepening crisis in Iraq and Syria. President Obama tapping the brakes on expectations of expanding airstrikes in Syria against ISIS. Morning, everybody. Martha McCallum here in America's Newsroom. And I'm Leland Vittert in for Bill Hemmer. Thanks for being with us. The brutality, meanwhile, of ISIS continues. Video surfacing allegedly showing a mass execution of captured Syrian troops. Speaking yesterday, President Obama said airstrikes meant to protect Americans in Iraq will continue. But also he admitted that there is no broader strategy from the White House to defeat ISIS. I don't want to put the cart before the horse. We don't have a strategy yet. I think uh, what I've seen in, in some of the uh, uh, news reports uh, suggests that uh, folks are getting a little further ahead uh, of where we're at uh, than we currently are. Um, and I think that's not just my assessment, but the assessment of our military as well. So where are we now? Connor Powell, live in our Mideast Bureau. Connor, uh, this video is so disturbing, and the brutality of this group is clear once again. Well, Martha, ISIS's brutality is well established at this point through all the videos they release and just all the things that they've done in both Syria and Iraq. But two new videos today really nonetheless are still shocking. In the first video, ISIS appears to execute about 200 Syrian government troops. The soldiers were reportedly captured by militants when they seized control of a Syrian air base near Tabqa. The video shows pro-Assad troops being marched through the desert with their hands behind their heads and then killed. And in a second video provided and posted online, by ISIS. A captured Kurdish fighter is beheaded. The video is eerily similar to that of the death of American journalist James Foley just last week. Now, militants say this video is a warning to the pro-American Kurds, Martha, to end their military cooperation with the United States government. So how is the fighting in Iraq going at this point, Connor? Well, Martha, the ISIS still controls huge amounts of territories in both Iraq and in Syria. But in Iraq, they are being pushed back uh, ever so slightly. The U.S. airstrikes, coupled with uh, an advancing Iraqi military and the Kurdish militias, have really provided space to both of those groups to launch significant counterattacks. And ISIS has been pushed out of some of the territory it gained earlier in the summer in Iraq. But they continue to hold several key oil-producing towns. Iraqi troops seem to have secured both Baghdad and a lot of the surrounding area, which is seen as a positive. But the general consensus right now seems to be that with uh, U.S. airstrikes are just simply not enough uh, to push Iraq uh, away from the ISIS sort of scourge that's gone through that entire country. Uh, they are proving to be far more resilient and organized than anyone ever expected. And Martha, the real scary bit. It, is estimated there are thousands of ISIS fighters joining their ranks every single month. They're right. getting stronger. Connor Powell, thank you.